Dear students, welcome. Today we look at double entry bookkeeping with examples of equity relevant events. You already know the structure of a T account with a debit side on the left side and the credit side on the right side. And just inferring from the structure of the balance sheet, if we have increases of assets, which are on the left side of the balance sheet, we book them on the debit side. If we have decreases, we book them on the right side, on the credit side. And just the opposite for capital accounts, because capital accounts are on the right side of the balance sheet. So this is why we book decreases of capital accounts on the debit side and increases on the credit side. So here you see again the relevant accounts. So this kind of is a structure of the income statement. And this is kind of the structure of the equity transfer account, right? We can also depict this as a T account. So on the left side with the income statement, we have the expenses. On the right side, the revenues with the equity transfer account. We have on the left side, the withdrawals of um, equity. And on the right side, the deposits. Let's look now at the examples. An entrepreneur wins a lottery prize of 10,000 euro, which is of course great, and provides 8,000 euro as additional equity for his or her company. So if we look at the consequences, if I win 10,000 or even 10 million euro in a lottery, that has no consequences for my company if I win this as a private person. But if I put a part of that money into the company, then of course this is a deposit of equity. So if we look at this, the entrepreneur puts 8,000 into the company, that is an increase in cash, so the asset side increases here because cash is on the asset side of the balance sheet, so the debit side is concerned here. And at the same time, because it's a deposit of equity, capital goes up, to be more specific, equity goes up. So the equity increase happens then on the credit side because the equity account is on the right side of the balance sheet. So overall, we have a balance sheet extension. And if we book this, we book cash to equity deposits 8,000 euro. So this is the book record for this example. We now continue with a little bit more complicated example, which is quite typical. So first of all, we have a withdrawal of raw material from inventory. We take it out of inventory. The value is 2,000 euro. Three quarters of this um, raw materials, which has a, then uh, a value of 1,500, three quarters times 2,000 of the raw materials are consumed for products which are immediately sold and delivered for 2,500 euro. And these 2,500 euros are paid in cash by our customers. And one quarter of these raw materials are consumed for products which are sold in the next period, which we will not look at for now. So what happens first? When we take the raw material, and just very simplified, let's assume that only the raw materials go into the final product, so we don't look at any labor and other stuff. Theoretically, we could also extend this example. So we have an increase in finished products because the raw materials, they basically go into finished products. So we have an increase of an asset of the finished products, which of course happens then on the debit side, on the left side of our book record. At the same time, because the raw materials are gone, they are now part of the finished products, um, we have a decrease in raw materials, which is also on the asset side. So um, that happens then in the book record on the credit side. So it's an asset swap, basically, what happens here. Then we sell products. And we sell basically three quarters of our product 2,000 is our finished products, 
And so the 3 quarters times 2,000 is 1,500. So we have an expense at the amount of 1,500. And of course, an expense is on the left side of the income statement and decreases our equity. And equity is on the right side. So this all must happen on the debit side because we have a decrease of a capital account. It's booked via the income statement. And we have a decrease in finished products because the finished product, their value is not there anymore because we have delivered this to the customer. So we have an asset decrease, which then happens on the credit side. A decrease in asset, as it's on the left side of the balance sheet, must happen on the credit side then in terms of the book record. Then our customer pays us an amount of 2,500 euro uh, in cash. So this is, if I have more cash, it's an increase in an asset. So that happens on the debit side because cash is on the left side of the balance sheet. And then we have revenues. Revenues, which are income relevant, of course, uh, in an in increase in revenues, also increase equity. And if it increase equity, equity is on the right side, then we have to book it on the credit side because equity is on the right side. And again, we book this via the income account. So if we now look at all these consequences, overall, this is an asset swap. So nothing really happens. So this is a balance sheet contraction. And this is a balance sheet extension. And because the extension is with 2,500 is bigger than the contraction, we have overall a balance sheet extension, 1,000 euros through the positive income. The positive income is revenues, 2,500 minus expenses, 1,500 equals 1,000. So if we come up now with the book records here, first of all, we have finished product to raw materials, 2,000 euros. That is the asset swap we have talked about. Then we have the expenses for the finished products to finished products, 1,500 euros. This is the balance sheet contraction we talked about. And then we have cash, the amount the customer pays for the product, to revenues, 2,500. So this is a balance sheet extension here. So these are the three book records which are relevant for this event here. Let's look at another event which has some similarities. We deliver a finished product to our customer. We invoice 3,000 euro. The book value of this finished product is 2,200 euro. And the consequences are again an increase in an expense that means we have an equity decrease because an expense reduces our equity. It's again booked via the income account. So what happens here is um, we have expense finished products. I just abbreviate this here. And then we have a decrease in finished products by the same value. So two finished products, finished products are on the asset side of the balance sheet, if we have a decrease, it must be booked on the credit side. So this is 2,200 euro expense to finished products. But at the same time, we have the book record for the revenues. And here we have an, an increase in revenue and we have an increase in receivables because we just sent the customer the invoice. The receivables are on the asset side. The assets go up, the receivables go up. So this has to be booked on the debit side. So receivables for the finished product. Of course, here we put the name of the supplier and so that we basically know who owes us money. And then the um, two revenues, because it's the income relevant booking here and this is 3000 and just easy to see we have kind of a balance sheet contraction referring to the first book record and an extension 
by 3000 referring to the second book record. Overall, we have an extension by 800 euros and this is again booked through the positive income, which comes from the income statement. And the last example, the entrepreneur after a hard year, after many hard work, withdraws 1,200 euros from the company's equity to go on vacation to the Maldives Island. So what do we have here? This is clear, this is an equity withdrawal. So we have a decrease in equity because if I withdraw money from equity, it's very clear that there's a decrease. A decrease happens on the left side, on the debit side, because equity is on the right side of the balance sheet. And I have a decrease in cash because he withdraws the money to basically pay the vacation. This is 1,200. I have an asset decrease and that happens on the right side because an asset is on the left side and I have a decrease. Overall, I have a balance sheet contraction here. So what happens here is withdrawal, equity, two, cash, 1,200 euro. And because I know some of you might watch this video before your exam, and I hope after your exam you can go to the Maldives Islands too. Thank you very much and have a good vacation.